Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch and welcome to the full review of this, the Chicacci Classic. Now Chicacci are a small Italian company with 120 years of horological history and heritage behind them and they use Swiss movements, a compelling combination. Let's flip the camera and see how this watch gets on in today's full review. So the Chicacci Classic then, if you didn't see the unboxing video, this one came packaged exquisitely. Best packaging I've seen this side of a luxury Swiss automatic piece. Now, Max Chikachi, who sent me this one for review, thank you, Max. He says he wraps these individually depending on customer requirements. If it's an anniversary, a birthday or so on, the, the packaging is tailored to the event. This is one of the, the leftover remnants. Just, just lovely to see a small brand taking so much care and attention with the packaging of their watches. Also, you're in no doubt as to the origins of this one. Very proudly made in Italy, but as mentioned, using Swiss movements. They also give you a free polo shirt, the one I was wearing in the introduction. Every customer gets one of those. And there's only one word a Scotsman likes better than cheap, and it's free. So let's get into this watch then. And there it is, the classic model. So they do a couple of different classic models. Uh, I chose this one. I thought it was just a beautiful, elegant design. Uh, they do a blue dial. This one is in kind of ivory, I would say. They also do one with uh, Roman numerals, but I thought these very simple batons and very simple Arabic at 12 uh, really made the watch look lovely. So Chikachi, one of the oldest watch shops in Italy then. Uh, they're based in Soprano, which is about halfway down, heading towards the west coast between Rome and Naples. Now this current lineup of watches, the classic of which is one of their best sellers, uh, debuted in 2015. So they've been a watch manufacturer only really for the last couple of years again, having started over 120 years ago. Now these are made in Italy. Everything is hand assembled in the factory in Italy, apart from the movements which as mentioned earlier on, this one has a, has a Swiss movement in it. So in terms of dimensions, this one is a mid-century styling, but certainly not mid-century sizing. This is a, a 43 millimeter diameter, this one, 13 millimeter uh, case thickness, 53 lug to lug. So this is a full size timepiece and 22 millimeter on the lug width as well. But in spite of the size, Still not all that heavy, weighing in at 80 grams on this uh, Italian Vera Pelle stitched full croc embossed leather strap there. So round to the case back, and this is looking pretty familiar. This is the venerable ETA 2824 with a nice signed Chikachi rotor there ticking away. Swiss automatic movement proudly advertised as is the Sapphire Crystal, the 316L stainless steel and water resistant. Now that's 50 meters water resistant. And by the way, this has a 24 month, two year manufacturer's warranty. The ETA 2824 hardly needs too much of an introduction. Uh, four hertz high beat, 28,000 beats vibrations per hour movement, leading to a very smooth uh, eight ticks per second on that lovely needle second hand there. So Dauphin hands with a needle second hand applied, bat on indices and applied just one Arabic at 12 o'clock there. Great choice, I think, a lovely aesthetic choice to include the date down at the six o'clock. Really keeps the dial very, very clean. Just Chikachi 1897 and automatic on the dial there, very limited amount of text cluttering the dial. So a fair degree of practicality as well as elegance with this one. We've got loom on the hands and loom pit all the way around the outside. Now a pop up a loom shop, <laughs> really very, very good loom. I'm big into loom, I wear my watch all the time. I, I, I sleep with a watch as well. So loom is a, always a, a purchasing factor for me. So always nice to see a watch that's quite elegant uh, like this one, but still has a fair degree of practicality about it as well. What else do we have? Well, we have a, a signed C on the crown there, and we have a nice signed Chikachi Tang on the strap. Strap, as mentioned, is Italian leather. You can see Vera Pelle there, made in Italy. Vera Pelle denotes the soft handbag style leather as well. And Chikachi, as you'd expect, stamped on the uh, the other side. 
nice stitching there too. So there it is sitting on top of my seven inch wrist ticking away there and I think it looks just lovely. Such a simple, stylish, elegant watch. Very, very nice indeed. Leather strap also pretty soft, pretty comfortable. And the signed Chikachi Tang. So any negatives with this one then? Well, the size means it isn't gonna be for everybody. I would say larger gentlemen only or those who prefer their watches this size. I think there's a little bit of an extra gap there between the crown and the case. Uh, I know that's popular on some watches, some Tudor models, but I'm not sure how it goes with this. I'd have preferred it to sit a little bit flush to the case. Now there is a 10% off discount code in the description there. So if you're keen on this watch or anything from the Chikachi automatic range, do have a look in the description. Uh, yeah, a little bit expensive when compared to something like the Visa Date, but then this is hand assembled in Italy, so you, you get what you pay for. Given its Italian heritage, I might have liked to see Made in Italy on the dial as well there. Um, I think that would have been a nice touch just to justify the extra manufacturing costs that obviously come from manufacturing the watch entirely in Italy. And just a super close up on the dial to finish then. Very clean, very elegant design, the Chikachi. If you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit out of the ordinary, then perhaps this is the one for you. As I said, not cheap, but for the bigger guy, a really nice, elegant, everyday option. So there you have it, the Chikachi Classic. A little large for my seven inch wrist, but I'm sure it's got a place in the market. Very elegant, very well styled, very well made Italian watch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.